Gwyneth Paltrow has already won her dollar, but now a juror has stepped forward to explain why they believe Terry Sanderson was 100% at fault. Plus, Gwyneth Clark Kent lawyer reacts to the fame. You're not going to miss this. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. Yes, I was waiting for a juror. I always love when these jurors come forward. I hope a juror will come to us. You can reach us up at Popcorn Planet. I'm at Andy Signor on social or just Popcorn Planet. Uh, look us up with our email, our information's all over the place. Uh, but yes, a juror has come forward and given an interview to GMA, ABC News, and here is what they said. Now in an ABC News exclusive, juror number 11, Samantha Emery, speaking out for the first time. So the whole thing was a little shocking to me. Revealing she changed her opinion multiple times throughout the trial, but once the case was handed over to the jury, it only took a couple of hours to get all eight of them on the same page. Yeah, we did not have to. Um, we did have a unanimous decision. The 31-year-old saying Paltrow's testimony rang true. Did you find Gwyneth Paltrow's testimony to be convincing? I, I did. Um, I think, you know, there was in the back of my mind, yes, this woman's an actress. And, you know, I took that into account, um, but I, I didn't feel that she had a reason to lie under oath. She's always in the spotlight, so she always has to be honest. And while she says Sanderson. I mean, that's not true. She doesn't always have to be honest, but I, she is a celebrity. What would she need to lie about here? May have convinced himself he was right. He didn't convince her. He was telling his truth. And um, I think, unfortunately, some of that has been distorted um, due to some other factors. Um, but I, I do think that he did not intend to tell a truth that wasn't his truth. In the She's trying to say, lie, but look, look who really swayed the case for her. Those of you who have been following with us. All right. Math Zaddy himself. He was the deciding factor, apparently. In the end, she says it was Paltrow's expert witness, Dr. Schur, who really brought home the case. He's a snow sports expert um, in many different ways. I think the fact that Dr. Schur could speak to the dim settings and he specifically studied snow science, that he had a stronger opinion. Emory yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. I think a lot of us had a strong opinion about Irving Shear. Uh, yes, our audience was very in love with him. You can look him up online and get his services, I guess. I know some of our audience members wanted his services, but here she goes to continue to speak about their also saying those social media photos of Sanderson traveling the world after the accident didn't help. I think I wrote down, wow, I need to make some more money so I can go travel this way. You know, I wouldn't have thought he was capable of those things based on the picture that had been painted. And while this yep. case involved a celebrity, Emery says her training as a nurse helped her focus on the facts, not the faces, as she made her decision. I think it's important that the public doesn't just think that this was a win because Gwen is a celebrity. I mean, this is based on the evidence. This is based on the law. I do work in medicine and every every you have to look at everyone the same. So yeah. I think that that should apply in the courtroom as well. Now, Sam well said. Uh, Anderson sought three hundred thousand dollars in damage was awarded. None of it. He yeah. And then he tried to get three also million. have to pay Paltrow's attorney's fees, but they haven't said exactly how much those will be yet. But as you guys know, this has been going on since 2016. Mm -hmm. So legal experts tell us that could be hundreds of thousands of dollars here. I'm at sure least. she's very glad it's over. Yeah. Hundreds. I wanted to keep playing that because a lot of you were asking how much money is still left on the table. Well, a lot. And does that mean he's going to cover? I don't think an insurance cover was covered. He had money. That's what's so interesting about this story is he had money. Uh, and so uh, is he now on the have to pay for it? Is he going to then have to declare something? I mean, with all the traveling he did, as we Scuba had diving, this right? clip, what, all the show in Germany. They went through in the uh, trial. several canals in the Netherlands. True. Yeah. Older towns in Central Europe. Bringing Terry at the very end was just such a move. To bring him in at the end, so the jury had this memory of all of the, you know, re reiterating all the travel he did and some of the lies he told about his height changing, etc. None of this helped. And the fact that he was skiing again after the skiing accident when they told him he couldn't. I'm beating the dead horse here, but my God, this was so obvious and it was good to see the juror was paying attention uh, and they weren't seeing through this. Uh, they they saw through this rather and they saw through what this guy did. I, I think a lot of us do feel for this guy, but this is all other things that caused this issue. He got so in his head that that smack, that 
That smack caused all the dilemmas in his pro in his world was just not truthful. Now, what did she say? Check out our last video. We talked about what she actually told Terry, but I want to go here. We posted a short as well. You may have seen the short, but there was a little bit longer to the video, so I wanted to give you a chance. We are huge fans of Mr. James Egan. I'm going to make it a fact. I'm trying to get Mr. Egan on this channel someday, not only because we were so uh, amazed by his lawyering, but the dude's a singer, guys. Thank you, Tinkle Tis McGee, for finding this out as we were live during the trial. Guys, go listen to James Egan on Spotify. He's really good. I love this Don't Worry, Don't You Worry song. But if you go check him out, he is a verified artist on Spotify. Yes, it really is him. Singer songwriter from Salt Lake City, writes piano, com contemplative rock songs. JamesEganMusic.com for more. Uh, bravo to Mr. Egan. It's it, I genuinely actually am a fan of his music. And we were a fan of him in the court, as were so many of you out there labeling him Clark Kent, Mr. Clark Kent of the jury. So this was a cute little clip. Billy Bush was there outside the trial, interviewed Terry. We played that in the last video. If you want to see that, go click it out. I'll put it at the end of this one. Uh, but here was uh, Billy asking James just about all the fanfare he was getting. Where are you going right now? I'm going to see my one-year-old son. He had his birthday during the trial, and I haven't seen him. He just learned to walk. So You haven't seen him walk I, yet? I, I have. He's. He, he, I saw him on Saturday, but that was the one time in those last two weeks. So Jim, you know they're calling go. you Clark Kent out there. Right? Yeah, 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 <laughs> it's got to be a little weird. I've heard that. It's, Is it's, that weird? It's weird. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Great job, buddy. Yeah, Great you. job. Woo! I love how the, you can just tell is everyone lo loves him. They're rooting and hollering for him. He's so embarrassed and shy, but awesome. Yes. Uh, I really yes. like this kid. Yeah, yeah. A kid. He's clearly an adult, <laughs> but yeah, he he was really sweet. I feel like he did he did a fantastic job on that stand. He kept it calm, and collected, and uh, it's why a lot of us uh, really became fans of him. And then the more we started learning about this guy, because there's always something out there that can surprise you about someone. He's a really good songwriter too. So. He's got the whole package, guys. I mean, geez, smart lawyer, uh, educated, intelligent, hot, talented. My God, the dude's got it all. So James Egan, yeah, we all got a crush on you. Bravo for all your hard work. Uh, what did you guys think? Uh, cute to see that clip. And what do you think of this juror? Are you glad that she uh, did it this way? It seems like she really was paying attention. Uh, and I got to I, I agree. We're, we're trying to find out if we can get one of these jurors to come on. I would love to do a more in-depth interview. I hate how these pieces always edit it down. Good morning, America. They always trim it down. You don't get the full story. I'd love to just talk to someone for 15, 20 minutes to really get more of a gauge. So we'll try. If you're a jury out there, juror out there, hit me up on social. You can hit me up over there at Andy Signor or at Popcorn Planet. We'll keep our DMs open and uh, please reach out. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for all alerts, smash the like button and leave your comments. What do you think? Did the jury make the right decision? I want to hear your thoughts. Uh, we'll be back Monday live. We're not live today, but we'll drop try to drop some videos this weekend and we'll be back live Monday. We'll see you guys then.